Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. As it's now getting colder, I'm shifting my attention a little bit more towards non-rubber powered uh, weapons, just because rubber doesn't really work well in cold conditions. And therefore I'm going back to both, specifically the instant Legolas invention of mine. <laughs> Let me show you the new iteration and its features. First of all, I'm using a new bow. I was using a Barnett youth bow before and now I've switched over to the EK Archery Rex, which you can get in different colors and everything. It's actually a very versatile bow because it's not necessarily just a youth bow. It has adjustable power uh, and uh, they say it goes between 15 pounds and 55 pounds. Uh, however, I measured it and I think it's not quite true. I think you can go between 25 pounds and about um, and about 50 pounds. So, but still, it is a very powerful bow. Uh, you can adjust the draw length to up to 29 inches and that's definitely no longer for young people only. Um, and I think it is ideal for the purpose because it's inexpensive, it is powerful enough, but it has a light enough draw to really make sense for a repeating bow system like this one. Again, I put on a magazine and this time fully loaded. You know, I, we have uh, six uh, bolts, six arrows in there. I now decided to go for 29 inch arrows since there's really no need in using any longer arrows than this. It's just so that it's safe enough that the arrow tip is in front of my hand. Um, also, um, I always started this with a, a normal guide, like a track system for the uh, lowest arrow that is in the shooting position. And the rest is basically a box with a spring system. And this time it's just a lever here that is spring loaded that presses down on the whole setup of arrows so that um, it, it reliably feeds an arrow in after one is on the way. And I also put on a red dot. In this case, it's a very inexpensive red dot. It's rattling a little bit, so it's nothing for marksmen, but definitely it serves the purpose because this is a big advantage that you can shoot this one just like you would shoot a rifle. Um, and um, I think it makes it also uh, much more easy to aim with it. The, it originally comes with a, uh, with a typical archery aiming system, but you have to install a peep sight and everything. I think this is just more comfortable. And it is a lot of fun to shoot. I haven't fully shot this in, um, but um, distance is now about 10 meters. And I think I should be able to hit fairly well. So, and it's very simple because all you have to do is you draw out until you hear the click. Next arrow is in line. Then you aim and shoot. And then you do the same thing again. It's that quick. Yeah, as you see, I need to change it over a little bit so it shoots more to the right. I think I can adjust this here. Okay, Let's leave it like one winding. Ah, this is better. <laughs> and as you see, it's so easy to shoot with this thing. And one last arrow. I love it because it makes shooting so much more fun. This isn't necessarily the strongest uh, bow on the market, but I think it's very hard to have more fun with a setup like this. Loading is super easy. I know now you're gonna say make replaceable magazines, but that is nonsense because they would be so bulky. Really makes no sense. But if you wanna load it, you simply shift the loading lever to the side a little bit, and then you feed in an arrow, just like this, and then you snap the spring over it and you're ready for a few more shots. How fast can you shoot with this thing? Very fast. I think you can almost get up to Lars Anderson's speed. I think it's very easy to fire like an arrow every two seconds, like so. Okay. Okay, that was lousy aiming. <laughs> <laughs> but as you see, it works. It was like shot from the hip. I need to practice this some more. <laughs> Does this still work when the bow is set to the full power of about 50 pounds? Sure. Um, actually, I just did that by tightening these screws all the way. So now I have full tension on the bow. This means it's now maximum performance. 
and um, it really doesn't make a lot of more sense to use a stronger bore or something because you still have to draw this with your fingers and 50 pounds is still okay but if you go to like 70 pounds or so it can be kind of uncomfortable to draw this with your fingers and of course now the bow has a lot more power but I also think that I have to sight it in again because it will surely uh, shoot at least a little bit uh, too high. Let's test it. Because it's a compound, once you draw it out, it's of course very easy to hold. It is not a crossbow, since I still have to hold it manually. Uh, so legally it's a bow, but it shoots a lot like a crossbow, in fact. Yeah, as you saw, that was a lot more powerful. Let's do one more shot. Okay, one more. Sure. Ah, let's look at our group. So this is not so bad. I mean the errors are all mine. I think the weapon shoots 100% accurate. But see, this is one of the problems when you shoot a bow with too much power. Because it makes it so hard to get the arrow out. And you really have to... I think you have to do that this way. Okay. Now I got it. <laughs> Heads can be good tools. I'm actually thinking about putting this one into production and selling it complete with the EK Archery bow because I think it makes a great setup. Uh, but if you want to build one yourself, feel free to do so. I haven't patented the design and actually give you, everybody give full permission to make one. Uh, if you want to do this, what you have to do is you have to make sure that the slot is wide enough so that there is not a lot of friction on the string. Also, the string must run very straight in the slot. There should be no chafing, otherwise your string won't last very long. This way it's going to last basically as long as uh, if you would shoot it normally. Um, yeah, what else? And also I made sure that this, this bow has two very solid 5.16 UNC uh, threadings here. So uh, it's very easy to install it in a really firm way. So this won't, won't budge, which is really important. Uh, Power-wise, I could dial this up to the full 55 pounds and then it is uh, harder to draw, but also uh, it has a lot more power. But this also, of course, increases the wear. And I also found that for fun shooting, it really makes no sense because there will be some damage on the arrow sooner or later. So I like shooting it with a low draw resistance. In any case, I thought about, is this the smartest we can go? Well, actually, there is one compound bow that EK Archery has, and I think it's the weakest compound bow on the planet. <laughs> so I thought maybe I can make a fun shooter out, out of that one too. And here is what I came up with. Meet the mini Instant Legolas. <laughs> Let me show you its features. It is based on a bow that I would say is more like a kid's bow and not so much of a youth bow. It's the uh, EK Archery Buster. It's actually very inexpensive. I think you can get it for under $40. Um, and it is a true compound bow, but it's really weak. Uh, they say it goes between 15 and, uh, and like uh, uh, 25 pounds draw force, but I clocked it between five and 15 pounds. So 15 pounds is maximum. So it is super easy to draw. You can actually draw this with one finger. Super, super easy, but it packs a, some punch because of the compound technology here. So I attached a mini Legolas version, but not for full-size arrows, because that's one of the disadvantages of such weak bows. Since the arrows also have to have a certain minimum length, they're quite heavy, and therefore they fly very slow. I wanted something that flies faster. So I clocked, I chambered this for the inexpensive crossbow balls for pistol crossbows. You can get these rather inexpensive. And uh, I made a magazine for six of them here. And since, you know, it happened to me with a similar design that had some flaws, <laughs> uh, I installed a hand protection so that even if, if one of the arrows slides out, I won't hurt my wrist this time. But I have to say that now I, have, I know what, how to avoid this and uh, therefore it didn't happen to me yet. So this is still unblemished. <laughs> also, I added a laser sighting system and also a zoomable flashlight. Um, and I did this because this is legal for bows in Germany, but for crossbows, 
people aren't so sure for pistols, even for soft air guns, definitely illegal. And this is also a laser that isn't attachable to a normal gun, otherwise it would be illegal in itself. I specifically made the mount for this bow. So therefore illegal in Germany and a lot of fun. Now shooting is super super easy because what you do is you have your laser sight, you draw out and then you fire. And of course again, you know you're so quick doing that. I think I need to adjust it a little bit. So super easy to shoot because of the low, low, low draw weight and six shots in really rapid succession. And fire. It's not super accurate, so it's more like for shorter distances, but it is really a lot of fun. I think it's the most fun bow that I have because it's small, it's compact, it is easy and it is lightweight. I think it, it weighs just about 800 grams or something completely loaded and you can also shoot it in the dark. I can just zoom out and in, which I really like. Okay, see that balloon? Let's see if we can pop it. <laughs> we sure can. Again, it is super easy to load the bolt in. You simply put this in like so and then you put the spring over it and you're in business. So how fast can we fire six shots with this? Let's find out. That was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> it is so much fun. So the mini instant Legolas, <laughs> what do I think about it? Again, it is definitely nothing to really use as a self-defense tool or to go and hunt with it. It's just a fun little toy which I love enormously. <laughs> and I hope you do too, because that's it for today. <laughs> Can't stop doing it. Thanks and bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, one more for you. <laughs> and by the way, if you like this video a lot, then maybe you want to leave me a tip. Go and visit my Patreon page, link down below. I'd love it.